All right, all right. It's your boy PFS Tib from Deep South Trading. Ooh yeah. All right. Let's see what this Cajun did today. So we were real, we are real close to qualifying for take profit. It was pretty exciting today. Oh, let me start with this. This video is for your entertainment and education purposes only. All right. So my uh, got an indicator. Uh, by Knobs Tools called the uh, Nutcracker. And what it does is when you put in your goal, it puts your target where it should be and gets you out. For some reason, I'm not sure if it was, well, the first time I forgot to put it on automatic. Second time, it didn't take me out for some reason. I hit my nut of $200, but it didn't take me out and price came back against me $175. Not sure what happened there. But regardless, I did uh, end up getting my nut today. So let's go over the trades. Uh, let's look at the spreadsheet real quick, see where we're at. Okay, today is day nine. I finished today 409.72 for a total of 4670.90. So I have reached a $4,500 uh, take profit goal. And I just have one more day to trade, so looking forward to getting funded. Once I take my trade in the morning, I will email them and see how uh, how the funding process goes, and I will probably update you guys on that. So, okay. So day one through nine so far. It's pretty exciting. I'm happy. This will probably be my third or fourth time to qualify. This is going to be a new adventure because we actually want to withdraw from this account. So I will be setting a daily goal probably between four and five hundred dollars. Uh, once I reach my, what is it, twenty five hundred dollar cushion would take profit. I will probably start upping that, but I want to get that cushion built real quick so I can start making some withdrawals. So, all right. So here we go. Um, this was a little messy. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Um, market had just opened up here around 8:30 my time. This is Central Time on this chart, and you know had some good shorts in here. I figured it was gonna go short. So based on this strategy, the best place for me to take the trade would have been in this area here. Okay. I need to change the colors of these errors because it's a little confusing because this error is actually one of the setup errors for what I look for. And then here's another one. Let's widen this a little bit and we can see it better because they're a little bigger. So, But as you can see, price was just kind of going sideways after the open. And I got, got a little chopped up in there. So, all right, let's look at, let's look at some of the trades. Most of these were two... I usually start off with two contracts. You can see I got in here, took a short, got stopped out. All right, I said, well, maybe maybe we're going to go long. I was I was hoping we would break this thirty here and go higher. Didn't happen. Got stopped out again. Um, this shows fourteen trades, but it was le actually less than that. So this was the end of trade two here. So I went short again, this area, and then we just we just came back and should have stepped back and said, "Hey, we're just chopping right now. Let's let's let this go." This was the yesterday high. Okay, this is another thing telling me. Look, I mean, you've got you've got resistance here, you know, and you got support here, and all we're doing is just up and down, up and down, up and down. Sooner or later, we are going to break it. Um, and I was thinking we were going to break it towards the downside because we had went up all, all night long. That was my thinking. Took a couple of more uh, trades. This one actually shows me getting in with the two contracts. I wish a ninja would do them all like that, but anyway. So I got down, what was I down? 266. Looks like. So, ah, get your time. Here we go. All right. So, got a little bit back here. 
Lost a few more. It was down 173. And then finally we got to rolling in this area. And we came down. And it looks like I uh, got out at 39.14, which was, oh, yeah, right in here, right below, right below the yesterday high. You know, here would have been a continuation trade. But actually, I should have stayed in, I mean, I could have stayed in this trade for a good bit. You know, I'd have probably got out here or once this arrow printed here along this line or maybe even at the 30. But it was a, uh, it was a good day. It was exciting. Uh, like I said, I had a little bit of a uh, mishap with that indicator. You know, I didn't lose my composure is one thing. And I wasn't worried about the drawdown. The 200 and something dollars of drawdown did not worry me, which has been something in the past where I've overreacted and I got flustered and I could take 266 down to a negative 700, 800, 1200, 2500, whatever, or actually blow my account. Um, I don't know if y'all remember, but a while back I was doing another tryout and I got to like day eight, eight or nine and actually lost the $2,500 and blew the account so but as of right now we're doing good so we will uh you know here's here's the account here we're at seven nine six five two fifty or i guess uh yeah because this is probably after com commission so so 409.72 after commissions so I'm excited. So we'll do another video uh, tomorrow once we pass. I'll probably wait until after I hear back from Take Profit what the details are, and I'll let you guys know, you know, what what they uh, what they do, what they say. Uh, I've never been funded with them before, so I'm looking forward to it. You know, see what see what see how it works and so forth. All right, got a couple more minutes. I want to I want to try to start keeping these videos to about ten minutes. Let's look at some of the other trades today. I wasn't up at 418 this morning, so. I like this area because we got our dots. You know, we failed here. This was this was a good area to go short. 9450. 86. Yeah. I like I like getting at least about five points. Uh, if I can catch a good five-point run, I'm happy with that. I mean, we know we know it's shorts for the day here. So all we're basically looking for is when we get a few yellow dots in there, and boom, continue down. We hit yesterday's low here. I'd have been looking for a reject after getting this second uh, stop here. We did pop a little higher. Okay, but we're still below the 200. You know, probably would have taken this one here. I do like this trade here. Came on down. This was actually a very this was actually a very good area. This happened quick. This may have been some news. I'm not sure. 79. Oh yeah, you got plenty out of this. You'd have made your day here. And then before ten o'clock you're done. I like to trade for about ninety minutes. I don't really like going past ten o'clock in the morning. Uh my time. Which you can see here, I was out before nine o'clock. So probably gonna start practicing with the Nasdaq, taking a look at it, see how it does. Um, I may go ahead and switch over to the fifteen ninety seven tick chart for for my trades from here on out. Um, I do like it. May have to use a little bigger stop than what I've been using, so. You know, I was looking at it this morning once the market opened up. I mean, this was right when the market opened it. I actually tried to take this trade, but for some reason, I had added an indicator to one of my charts, and it wouldn't let me hit the buy or sell button for some reason. I don't know why Ninja does that. I also struggle because this is on my VPS, uh, so I'm not really sure why, but anyhow... And then we got into this chop slop area, which, you know, if I'd have waited till here, or even on this candle getting in, 
would have been a nice would have been a nice trade you know if I'd have got in on the low here and if I'd have targeted R1 that's $425 one contract I'd have been done so I keep saying I keep keep going back and forth should I just wait till 845 or you know wait till the first 15 minutes are over uh, I do like trading pre-market uh, I've come to realize me trading the night before 6 p.m. when it opens my time is not is not good for me. I mean 5 p.m. my time is not a good time. That five, you know, nights just don't work for me. I've tried it. It's just it seems like I always lose money. So sticking to just the uh, just the morning hours. I will trade pre-market. I know Nasdaq has some really nice runs pre-market. Let's take a look at it real quick. This was a killer move here in NASDAQ. You had R1 and a high today there. Yeah. So the bigger the bigger chart, 5097 tick, you're not going to see a whole lot on it. Uh, you know, 836 was an entry. And then we didn't get a continuation until 904. But hell, you could have made, I mean, let's see, 80 or stop. Yeah, uh, 90 wouldn't have been enough. You'd have to have a big stop on this one. So, I mean, I just wouldn't have, wouldn't have carried you enough. Let's go to a 20 range on here. Let's go to NASDAQ. Let's take a look at this morning. See what it looks like. Now, NASDAQ, or NASCRAG, like I like to call it, I would probably definitely wait the first 10 or 15 minutes out because I mean you can see 831 18 831.22 I mean this is this is seconds I mean these bars are you know probably not even some of them even faster than a second I mean 31 22 24 I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to get in this fast enough it's just it's too much okay so what time is this this is 8.44, 32. I mean, that's still pretty quick, you know. But I looked for an entry here. I don't, I took a continuation here. I took a continuation there. Let's say I'd have missed that entry, but get out here. That's 3.95. This is another good one. Even if you get stopped out, these continuations are really good entries. I wouldn't have been looking for any longs here. It's just too much. Um, I do like this little double top here. This would have been a great entry. Somewhere in here. 518. 46. I mean, talking about 40 points. Enter the S. I mean, some good tra there were some good trades, so, um, you know, I may, I may look at it on a 497 tick chart. I have looked at, I have looked at NQ on that instead of doing the 610 or the 20 range. I may go ahead and take a look at the uh, 497 tick. I do like it. You know. This 200 is our support. Once we broke below it here, this Katie bar the door. And down she goes. We get back up to the 200. Are we going to break it? I don't think so. I mean, look at that resistance right there. Boom. You know, we're back under the 50. Just can't seem to break through. Come back up to the 200. And what do we have? A little triple top here. Bam. Back down she goes. You know, a nice squeeze here. Another short, short. You know, just, you just patience, patience and discipline, patience and discipline. It's the name of the game. Patience and discipline. Yeah, I want to measure that move here. Six hundred nine dollar move. Throw a couple contracts. You set for the day. So, all right, that's all I got to say. All right, let's get hot. We'll come back and do it again in the morning. We're gonna pass this tryout. We're gonna get funded this time. We're gonna we're gonna 
We're going to do something we never did before. We're going to draw a payment out. All right, guys. Later.